This place might just be full of false alarms. We feel like there's something here. This has the heaviest feeling of any room we've ever been in. And then instantly, the second you walk in here, you can smell death. <gasps> oh my God, please tell me that people are going to see that. I've got it. Yeah, but in night vision. I've, I'm honest, I'm zoomed right in on it. We've not been here long. It's very sad as well, so we are going to be very respectful in this one. It is kind of like a recent thing, um, I mean, by the looks of it and by the smell of it, um, <laughs> that somebody has passed away here. Mm. And we're pretty sure, I mean, we know that somebody has died in this house as well. Yeah, I mean, it literally is a case of this was abandoned about two years ago officially, I believe. Yeah. And it's just as if the guy who died here obviously just, he just disappeared. No one ever came for his stuff. No one's ever tied it up. No one's ever even locked the doors. Yeah. It literally is exactly as it as it was left when he died. I mean, you can go see that June 2022. That's how recent this is. Bob collected 10 eggs early. Here is your picnic and ham in small cool bag. What, what's that? I'll look in the cupboards. I, I very rarely look inside things too much. That's insane. There you go. Complete proof that we are one of the first people to ever come here because... They're, that's all completely full. It's not even got dust on it. It's completely unopened. Um, right, let's go have a look in here, because this is one of the worst smelling rooms. Yeah. It looks like the guy enjoyed alcohol. Somewhat. <laughs> um, enjoyed making it. There's lots of demi-drons full of his own wine. This is like a little urn thing. <laughs> and we've still got his clothes. There's no female stuff, apart from maybe the handbag. Meh. Which is interesting. Just look down that corridor. I mean, it's all still so clean, the floors and everything. Well, I say clean, compared to what we're used to. It's cleaner than your place. Yeah. So it's doing quite well. <laughs> this here... It's the kitchen. <laughs> this is the bathroom. <laughs> it is in your house. <laughs> yeah. Same cooker as Joe's got, only cleaner. Wow. You could, I mean, seriously, I'm not, obviously not going to, but it's not even got dust on it, but you could just drink that. Is it just insane? Like, yeah. I mean, he's got his candles and pegs. It's so sad. Yeah. It is such a crazy thing to just. You can see what someone's entire life was like. I think that says jab. 2021. So this was during COVID. Yeah. That's so sort of... Uh, yeah. Recent. That is um, just as cupboard. He's got some egg... Got an egg or something from Leslie, does that say? Yes, yeah, a Leslie egg. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie laid an egg. Maybe it is Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie was an egg. <laughs> it's Leslie the egg. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, in his porch, he's still got washing hung up. And how is the, like, still power? Uh, he has chickens. There's chicken feed. He has chickens. Does that mean the lights will turn on? Anyway, let's, let's, let's go into the other room, because there's actually, there's a room here which has got one of the most interesting things I think we've ever found. Yes. Um, and I would love to know more information about it. Look at this. This has the heaviest feeling of every room, of any room we've ever been in. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at what's above the bed. Oh, it's horrible, actually. And then instantly, the second you walk in here, you can smell... Death. Yeah. And that is, without doubt, a swastika. Yeah. I mean, that's huge as well. Mm-hmm. What is... I mean, it's obvious kind of what it is, but, like, how? <laughs> it's very strange. It's a heavy, heavy feel in here. And this is also, again, another one of those things really, really strange and sad to see that he obviously died on a on a Tuesday because he didn't wake up in the morning to have his pills. Mm -hmm. 
And it's just, it's things like that that just make you feel so like you can't explain it. The can reality you? of it. Yeah, the reality of life, basically. That corner behind you to your left just looks untouched. Yeah. It doesn't even look abandoned. Still got clothes folded up. There's a bedside table, and there's still money here. It's glasses. I mean, just still the mask and the tissue. Like, the tissue hasn't even, like, rotted away. It's just crazy. All his belongings on the side. Can't get in this room. Um, <laughs> and it's full of cobwebs anyway. But I will show you in. To be fair, it doesn't have much of a feel in here anyway. It's just vile. <laughs> In here. Don't even particularly want to go in here. And well, that water's not healthy. Um, and then, the upstairs. There's only one room upstairs, I believe, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, sh <coughs> Perfect. Wow. There's a big loft full of more quality street. <laughs> quality. And this looks just like a storage room, really, for just tools and things. It's sort of like the man cave area. <laughs> yeah, it's very weird. Oh, it was clearly their bedroom, and they probably moved furniture to sort of help him manoeuvre better downstairs. You've got to wonder who they are, though, because... It might have been carers. Yeah. It looks like he was just left to fend for himself, to be honest. I suppose we know what to do next. Back screen! No. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna finish the rest of the video. Oh, right, okay, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody here? Are there any spirits in this house? We're here to talk to you now. I'm going to go through to the corridor. Are you still in this room? We're here to speak to Robert. Come to see if you're still here, if you're okay, if you need anything. Please come and talk to us by making sounds or showing yourself. Completely silent when they walked up and then they walked away. 
Yeah, but they must have walked up for a reason. That they must have heard us. No, but they walked away. Have you ever heard that? There's no one out there. At least not out the front door anyway. We kind of want to get out of this constant cycle of assuming that there's other people in the building. So we decided to just put this down as people were just walking through the village or pigeons, which is the most likely answer. So. We went to the living room, we put the K2 on the bed and the sound bars down, and then this happened. Fuck me. The K2. Yeah, the K2's just going off, like, permanently. Oh my God, please tell me that people are going to see that. I've got it. Yeah, but in night vision. I've, I'm honest, I'm zoomed right in on it. No, but did you see it come on? Is yeah. It, like, because in night vision, you can barely see that sort of light. I could see it. I saw it perfectly. If I could see it on my screen, they're going to see that. There is no one. What <gasps> the hell? That couldn't explain the K2. That's been... It's turning itself up. Yeah. Have you got a good shot? Yeah. Bob, is that you? Can you turn the light off if that's you? Can you? I'm not going to touch it, but... Can you see there's a switch? Yeah. Is that the switch to turn it on and off? Yeah, it's off. <laughs> it's... That's at the back. Because I've literally zoomed in on the button seeing that there's absolutely nobody touching that and yeah. you were not near it no the switch is off it's actually flickering on and off isn't it the k2's flickering as well bob if that's you then you just turn that light on can you turn it off again are you able to turn it off again Was that you? No. I can turn my torch on now. If you prefer to be in the light, I've just turned my light on so you could turn yours off. It's just turned up. Can you move the glass? Because it's kind of like right in front. I was leaning on the glass. Oh. Mm. Is it still on? You're still on. Wait, can we just... That was off. Oh no, it was on. Is that on now? Yeah, we're well, sort of like halfway. We have actually come across this sort of activity before where we had the button on the light turn on and then the torch lit up. 
However, in this occasion, the button on the torch was stuck in its middle position. So as we were looking around the building, we could have nudged it and it could have loosened something and turned itself on halfway through. What do you think? I don't know, that's just, did you catch it on camera actually turning on? That's the thing. Yeah. Did you? I saw it come on. You're going to have to probably like highlight it because I was in wide. I was focused over on the K2. I saw it come on and then I zoomed in. Because I, I had it in shot, I think, but I don't, you, like, because it's night vision, I don't think you see that light as well. So there is a lot more to this investigation. We didn't just cut it there. It's just during the edit, we realised that we kind of went on and on about the torch, which we think we debunked anyway. And also there was an incident with the cabinet behind Joe where the TV sits on, where we thought it moved and we heard a bang. The annoying part about this is we weren't recording at the time, we were setting up for the next half of the investigation. But we made that second half of the investigation all about something we didn't record. So we did actually set up for an EVP session upstairs. However, it was quite early in the morning. We were both agitated. Uh, moving around, it messed it all up, and then I nearly fell down the stairs. Shit! Fucking hell. You're right. So we decided to go back a couple of weeks later and try again. I'm recording, finally. This looks different. locked. You're kidding. There's an alarm, it. and there's an alarm. Oh, is that the fire? Smoke alarm. Mm -hmm. I think we're quite hidden here. <laughs> Be careful of these. And there's nettles right here. Mm. Yay! The fuck the back is open. <coughs> well, this door's oh. open. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say last time, when we were here, the back and the front was open, but now the front's shut. But it's most likely urban explorers. Hey, these clothes are still the same. Yeah, oh, yeah. nobody owns this place. There we go. Oh, someone has been in. Yeah, because they've gone through all the drawers. Look, we didn't leave. Fucking hell, I'm in jump. That's just a low battery. Someone's gone through all this. Look, mm. probably finding a key. Yeah. They were, you couldn't even open this before. They haven't taken anything though. What was that? Hello. No. Is it you moving? I don't know. The Hoover too. That wasn't there. No. But things do change in abandoned buildings after thing. Like people do explore them, you know. Mm. Oh, <laughs> look what's gone. Yeah. Someone's nicked the swastika. Hmm. Nicked or saved? Yeah. Who was it? Knowing that people have been here, it has given us a horrible feel this time. Mm -hmm. Do you hear any weird little taps, like with deep knocks somewhere? Yeah. Okay, let's just quickly explain, because what we thought we heard last time was it's almost like that down there got hit, which sounds really weird, but it's completely, it's off camera. But then we kept talking about it through the rest of the episode. And we're yeah. like, but no one even knows what we're talking about because we didn't capture it. Yeah. And then we were talking about the light all the time, but the light was switched on. So it's not that weird for a light to turn on hmm. when it's on. So we kind of go with a fresh mind this time. Start, almost start again. Yeah. Even though we're already halfway through the episode, but 
Um, hello, you may remember us, two idiots. We've come back to talk to you, and... Sounded like someone, sounds weird, threw a leaf. Yeah. Oh. It's a moth. Christ, okay. I don't know if I actually got, I think I got that on I camera. I saw it. Yeah, just there's a moth flighting around. It sounded like a leaf, didn't it? Yeah. It sounded like, like a leaf falling from a tree, but like indoors and there's yeah. no trees. Okay, this place might just be full of false alarms, but we feel like there's something here. Um, what I was going to say is, we have taken our time to research you a little bit. Um, we have gone to the church, where you're now buried, awaiting a headstone. What's actually really weird is on, on the, where he's actually... Buried, he doesn't have a date of birth. It just said the year that he died. And what's really weird about the year that he died was this year. Which maybe makes us think that potentially he didn't die here. Yeah. Even though in a certain place it says with guarantee that he was. Yeah. So there's a lot of misinformation, but hopefully we can get the, the truth. We feel that. There is a presence here. And they're not under the tree. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just wondering why. Why, when we come to these places, does it feel like we're being listened to and watched? Do you wonder about this property or the land? If you do, can you please make yourself known to us by making a noise? Just as I turn the camera around. Can you do that again, please? Can you make it louder? There was something there. Hmm. Can you make a noise as loud as you possibly can? All it will do is just let us know that you're here. Did you just move? No. You can Yeah. Like breathing. That wasn't me. No, I know. I'm not I've touching got, anything. I've got your own camera. Like here, that down there. Every time I turn the camera away, shall I go into the corridor? Yes. I'm actually going to take it off of this. I'm going to take it off of that and then be a bit more nimble here. So that's what. There are noises, but. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was in here. No, it wasn't. It was the bed. I heard a door, that cabinet right in front of me. I heard the bed. 
Something's going on. That's going to be interesting to play that back then. Because I can hear, I just heard the cupboard door move. Thank you so much. Does that mean we can have a conversation with you? Can you make noises on things to answer questions? Where are you? You don't have to come close to us. Bec and we don't, we're not here to hurt you or harm you or do anything to you in any way. We're just purely here to have a conversation. Why is my heart going so mad? I know. Someone's... If that's you making that noise for us, this is a great start to the communication. You can hear movement yeah. in here. There's lots of stuff going on right now. It feels like someone's just walking around that room. Yeah. And here. Are you okay that we're here? Do you need help? Okay. Please, please talk to us. Let us know what it is you want. What did you hear then? I, you know, I can't make it out. I thought I had something in there. Then I have thought I had a tap again in here. That's me. It's a loud pigeon.
It's like literally a direct repeat of what happened last time. Yeah. What the fuck was that? I don't hear anything like what? I don't know, it's just so many noises. I don't even know if they're coming from in here anymore. Right. So this is very strange because once again, we had people walking around the building. However, it's very strange when we look back because it's the same time of day that we had that particular activity happen before. Now, if you wanted to make it paranormal, you could say it was something like stone tape theory or sort of time replaying itself, or it could be people walking around. Right, we now have some devices led out across the house. We have a K2 meter on the bed, which is just a black device with some lights on it. If you touch the device, the lights will change color and all it'll do is just let us know you're there. We have a device on the, the bed table tray thing on wheels um, with my phone on it. If you speak, theoretically, that can hear what you say and play it back to us. We have a device by your phone in the hallway and there's also a device on the stairs. If you are here and you go near the little devices with the green lights, Yeah. I think it was just someone across mm. the road. There's like virtually no way you could pigeon. Yeah, I think it could be, but there's no way you could walk around there without us hearing you walk around there. What I've just heard essentially is the sound of the window behind me, the window in the living room being hit. If you actually replay it, it sounds very similar, if not the same, as the sound that Elliot heard when he was in the same room when he had his back to the window. That sound, I thought, came from the cabinet in the hallway. I don't know why, it must have just been the way that the, the sound travelled. So that's now the second time that we've heard something hit that window. So I went outside to have a look at the window to see if there was any possibility of someone being there. And that had actually been kind of trodden down since we had last been in the house. Which means there is a chance it could have been a person, but I think we would have heard them if it was. So what ended up as being 
one of, if not our longest investigations we've ever done. We think that even though we had quite a lot of promising activity, a good 99% of it, if not all of it, can be explained through being things that are not paranormal. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.